Thank you for tuning in to watch this video on color encoding point clouds in Erdos Imagine 2018 version 16.5. In our previous videos, we demonstrated how users can edit and reclassify the point clouds and how they can use different display options such as profiling. Erdos Imagine provides a collection of tools for manipulating point cloud data. Using these tools, users can subset a portion of an existing point cloud file into a new file, split an input point cloud file into multiple output files, merge multiple point cloud files into one file, classify a dataset, or RGB encode points with colors from an existing base map or ortho photo. In this video, we will demonstrate how to color encode point clouds using a satellite image as a base. We'll be using point cloud data photogrammetrically generated from a stereo pair of GeoEye panchromatic imagery. Points data covers part of the city of Cape Town. The multispectral imagery used as reference is the pan sharpen set of the GeoEye imagery acquired on the same date and time as the panchromatic imagery. Let's begin. Color encoding point clouds. Color encode tool adds color information to the point cloud in the point cloud file. The color information is extracted from a base map or ortho photo that covers the same extent as the point cloud file. We'll start by opening a point cloud file in one viewer and the base map in another viewer. Now click on the point cloud file from the table of contents and open the point clouds tab. From the point clouds tab, locate the color by list of the display group. Notice that with the current file, we can only style the points based on classification, elevation, and files and intensity return information. Note, however, that the RGB option is not present for our input file. Color encode a file in the point cloud workspace do the following. Click on the point cloud tab and from the tools menu, select the color encode tool. This opens a color encode dialog. From this dialog, we can create a new point cloud file with color information extracted from a reference or base image. Note that the color encode uses the bilinear interpolation resampling method, and note that the color encoding is best done using a reference image that was captured during the growing season. We will specify an input file by clicking on the open button and navigating to the file. Remember we can add the following point cloud files of the following file types. Specify an output file in the output file field or click the open button. We can encode our point clouds with either RGB or RGBN. For RGB, select this option if the point cloud is to be encoded with three band color information. For RGBN, select this option if the output file is to be encoded with RGBN color information. If this is selected, the point cloud will be in LAS 1.4 format. We will select the encoding type RGB for this demonstration. Specify the image to use for extracting color in the color source image field or click the open button. Specify the band numbers to use for these fields in the color band section, red, green, blue. Click OK to run the process. When completed, proceed to display the RGB color coded point cloud file. Notice that the points now have RGB styles similar to the reference imagery. How easy was that? As demonstrated, Erdos Imagine provides an easy and simple way to color encode point cloud files. Encoding point cloud data with RGB values will assist with the classification and identification of features. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with future content by the Geodata Design team.